This is Twitter View. Hey, what's up, my viewers? I'm coming at you with another review, a um, video. Basically, this is about getting guns. I'm not talking about airsoft guns, real guns. Um, see, every single day you buy another action figure. You're giving China more money. Um, you know, when you do that, um, you're going to give China more money. It's not a good thing. Give me China. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, giving you're giving China more money every single time you buy this. You know, plastic. You know, make, probably gonna break one day. Most likely, gonna break one day. Not high quality, but um, I'm some China made stuff is good quality. But every single day you buy a. Then most of that is made in China. You basically you're giving China lots of money. So uh, yeah, it's very very bad. Um, I would definitely recommend getting more guns because you know one day when they decide to ban guns and a lot more and you might say that's a good thing, very bad. They're gonna make it sound a good thing, like a uh, uh, sorry guys, oh, we're gonna have to ban all the guns and make it a fully gun free zone. Did you see what happened in um, Fort Hood? That was a gun free zone. That was a gun free zone. No guy was supposed to have a gun. They took gun away. If every single person in there had a gun, do you think that bad guy would have gone in there and started shooting people? Do you really think you will go in a shooting club knowing people have, you know, real guns, not something like this, but real guns, with two pistols and they start shooting people? Guess what happened? One of those um, police officers, um, military police, shot him. She had a gun. Nothing fancy considers these people shoot dogs. Nothing fancy is right. Um, that person was definitely a sheep dog. A lot of people were running. From they're running away from the fire, from the shooting. Sheepdog runs toward it. So um, you know they're gonna say you know eh guys we're gonna have to make it a whole fully green um no gun zone and guess what's gonna happen? Bad guys can walk around the streets with guns shooting anybody they can because the police are one mile away or they can't get in time and you're dead. So if you had a gun at that time, guess what's going to happen? You can shoot the guy and end it. If a bad guy knows the whole country, every single person, every single house has a shotgun, a rifle, a high-power rifle, and a pistol, do you really think he's going to go in there and start shooting people? When a bad guy goes out wanting to rob something, or kill somebody? Does he go to the high power people? Does he go into, uh, you know, does he go into a, um, a gun market? I mean, sometimes they do. They break in at night. But do they go in when people are you know, checking out guns? As of probably most likely not. Do you think he would do that? Not unless he's really, really brave. I mean, sure, it will still happen, but it won't happen as much. I mean, bad guys can walk around with their MP5 or AR-15 or AK-47 or shotgun, you name it. They'll be walking around, they'll be able to shoot people, and a lot of people will not be able to defend themselves. They can do it every day if they want. Police will not be able to get there in time. And do you really think some guy is going to... Do you think any... Do you think even a country would invade us if everyone had a gun? And... Say, like, we were not going to invade if everybody had a gun and the military had guns and everything. And they invade. Do you think that, you know, our own civilians can actually shoot when they when they see them? They can actually shoot them. And we would have double the people. We would have triple. We have ten times the people that we have in the military fighting those guys. Say they have maybe ten guys per one of our people. Guess what's going to happen? One guy can kill ten of them then. And if that guy dies, then one, another guy can kill 30 or four, or 40 or 20, you know? And it will add up and you don't, it doesn't matter because they'll be freaked out when, you know, you send, you know, 
a whole squad in, and then there's civilians that have guns, and the military that has guns, and the police. Do you really think they're going to do that? No, they're not. I recommend you buying a gun. Uh, get, you know, if you, if you don't have enough money to buy a couple guns, buy one high-powered gun. Maybe like an AR-15 or an AK-47. It depends what environment you are in. If you're in a dusty, you know, more of a deserty area, then go with the AR-15. But if you're more of a, if you're muddy, you know, kind of like my environment, you know, muddy, you know, dirty stuff that's gonna get in your gun, get the AK. That will last you, and you better have to clean it. AR-15, not, not exactly, but um, if it's much more of a wide area, you know, maybe with the AR-15. Much more of a close quarter, much more of that, maybe a shotgun, maybe a AK-47. I recommend you get guns now. I mean, the healthcare thing um, did not pass yet. It has to go through the Senate. But if it goes by, it, that's very, very bad. I, uh, I've been to Canada, and I saw videos about Canada. And guess what happens? Sometimes it takes years for them to get a doctor. Sometimes they keep you there for a week. Then they send you home, not knowing what the heck it is. Healthcare is very bad. And it's very, very bad. And most people, I don't think, like it. Some people do, but it's bad. Very, very bad. And there's no bright side of it. I mean, sure, they pay for it, but you got to pay a lot more than you could just do it. It's not free. You know, if you think about it, it is not free. I mean, they're forcing you to do it, too. It's very, very bad. I, if if it happens, I I expect you guys to stand up. Don't wait and wait and wait and wait and say, No, I'm tired, I need to eat and, you know, just lay back and, you know, eat my Doritos, my soda, and, uh, and wait, and wait, wait. Stand up before they make better, you know, things to keep us from standing up, like taking away our guns and ammunition, making uh, ammunition very, very expensive, taxes and everything. Get your guns now, put your ammunition, and stand up for your freedom. We want this country to be free, don't we? Do you want it to be communist like China or Russia over there? No, we don't. Next time, maybe you vote for Ron Paul or Chuck Baldwin. Ron Paul and Chuck Baldwin, do not vote for McCain, do not vote for Obama. Those people are bad. I will make next couple of years when Obama's done, do not vote for him again. I will be very disappointed in American citizens for voting for him again, for all this terrorist, you know, for all this um, things he's done that's bad. <clears throat> next next couple of years, vote for Ron Paul or Chuck Baldwin. I will make more things about him. But again, with about the guns again, you're going to have to make a list. You're going to have to make a list. Look, I have right here. You write down guns, knives, and tactical gear. Um, you can get an AR-15, AK-47, any type of gun that you really want. If you're if you're more close, if you're more if it's really really close environment, and it's like you don't got a big of a yard, shotgun would be perfect. Um, get a couple of knives, you know, fixed blades, full ups. Doesn't matter. You gotta get your own little thing. Tactical gear, tactical gear, vests. Um. Posters, everything, flashlights, whole, whole nine art, nine, whole nine yards. But um, I recommend you guys doing this. I'm gonna make videos about guns, knives, and yes, I do have some. Um, you know, um, I will still make some good videos, maybe some, you know, movie reviews or something like that. But um, seriously, I do recommend you get your guns. And I'm not saying you don't buy, you know, your toys or anything. I mean, you can still buy them, but don't buy them as much. Because you're still giving money to China. You know, if they invade us, guess what's going to happen? We're dead. But if we have many, many, many people that have guns, and they send people in, guess what's going to happen? They're going to be dead, okay? Because, um, you know, very, very, very good. If we stick up and we kill all of them, and our civilians do it, but I think, um... We could stand up for our country now and make it a better country. Stop buying and borrowing money and buying stuff from China and other countries. Make our own stuff here. And wouldn't you love to see a toy made in the USA? Wouldn't you love to see that? It'd be better.
Because you giving you'd be giving the money to the USA instead of China. That's all for now. Um, I'll be back as soon as possible. Out. Signing off.